Good, happy Wednesday evening. I'm Riley King, and welcome to your news, weather, and traffic update right here on the Riley King Radio Network. Let's get started. First up, escaped inmate from Laconia facility for sex offenders. Let's take a listen to this video from WMUR News 9. Bite into Magnum Double Cookies and Cream. So police are telling anyone who sees this man to stay away from him and call police right away. And for anyone who lives in the immediate area where he escaped from on Green Street to stay indoors. This is who they're looking for, 27-year-old Roman Cornelius. Police say he was facing trial for several recent serious sex offense charges. Cornelius is 5'7", 175 pounds, wearing blue jeans, a black jacket, and black Bruins hat. Police say he is a convicted sex offender who escaped from a secure facility for sex offenders on Green Street. They say it appears that he approached a home on Eastman Shore Road near that facility. And right now, police are using a canine track and are sending up a helicopter to search over the woods. And again, anyone who sees him should call Laconia Police right away. Live in the newsroom, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9. Okay, and there you go on that report. Man accused of rape, robbery, charged with murder in pizza driver's death. Let's take a listen to this video from WCVB Boston. New places, new Center 5 eye-opener. Now with Antoinette Antonio, Randy Price, Alessa Stefanova, and Cindy Fitzgibbon. And new Center 5 at 5 with Emily Reamer, Ben Simino, and Harvey Leonard. Weekdays. A heartbreaking image, the father kisses a photo of his son, steps away from where he was murdered. A vicious crime that has torn a small family apart. I have this small family, my daughter, my son, my daughter, my son, gone. Court documents show that Sina Zangaban was in his car making a food delivery when the suspect came up and shot him in the head. Witnesses tell police that suspect forced him to pull over and blocked him in after some kind of road rage incident. I just saw him at the car with the gun, uh, holding the gun, just sh uh, shooting him. A neighbor saw the horrifying attack and then the suspect take off. Police later arrested Brian Brito, shown here with his face covered at court. After the murder, police say he then robbed and raped a convenience store clerk in North Andover. As Cena's family comes to the street where he was killed, they are overwhelmed with questions about why the suspect allegedly pulled the trigger. I mean, look at his picture. Just look, look at that face. Come on, that that, that person gone right now is just. I, I just can't believe it. Just a profound loss for this family. That suspect is due to face a judge tomorrow on that murder charge. We're live in Lynn tonight. John Atwater, WCBB News Center 5. Okay, and there you go on that report. Bill would let people on organ transplant lists use medical pot. State lawmakers in Maine are weighing on a proposal that would prevent hospitals from removing people from organ transplant wait lists for using medical marijuana. Gary Godfrey, who suffers from a hereditary disease that caused kidney failure, was taken off the kidney transplant registry in 2012 for using medical marijuana as a pain reliever. At Maine Medical Center, the state's only transplant center, a candidate cannot use marijuana due to the risk of an in virus fungal infection. The program tells the Portland Press Herald it wants to provide treatment based on safe evidence based on patients. Godfrey told lawmakers this week marijuana allowed him to function day to day and care for his family. Republican Deborah Sanderson has asked hospitals to look into whether there's a way would-be transplant recipients could take medical marijuana. 
Stocks hold mostly higher as energy rises 1%. UK begins vertex. US stocks closed mostly higher Wednesday with energy leading as investors designated economic data and the start of the United Kingdom's divorce from the European Union. Twelve confirm confirmed dead in head-on collision involving Texas church bus. A Texas church group returning from a course retreat Wednesday afternoon was involved in a major collision near Gardner State Park, resulting in at least 12 confirmed fatalities. The Texas Department of Public Tri Safety spokesman, Lt. Joan G. Henderson, said the bus and a Dodge pickup truck collided head-on on at 12.23 p.m. local time on US 83 North, just south of Ranch Road, 1-10-50. Henderson confirmed 12 people died in the accident and that three others were transported to the hospital. Hernandez said the bus was carrying 14 people and there was one driver in the truck. Texas Highway Patrol is continuing to investigate the crash, Hernandez says. First, Baptist New Burfields pastor Brad McLean said a van from a church was carrying seniors from Alto Ferro Baptist Camp and Conference Center, where they were on a course retreat. The church said all planned activities had been canceled, although they will be open for prayers and support Wednesday night. Counselors will be on hand at the church. And now let's turn things over to weather. Let's take a look at your weather now. And your weather for tonight, clear skies and cooler lows around 30 degrees. For Thursday, sunny skies, highs in the upper 40s. Thursday night, increasing clouds, lows in the mid-20s. Now let's take a look at your traffic. And a live look at your traffic right now. We're seeing a lot of green roadways, and we have a few little tiny yellow areas and a tiny little red area. Otherwise, your traffic is moving pretty good on your Wednesday evening. No major problems on your roadways this evening. And that does it for your news, weather, and traffic update right here on the Riley King Radio Network. I hope you all have a great night, everyone. Bye.